Hello friends, so Covenant Summon is over here and it has two new heroes. Actually, it has more new heroes. One second. Hmm. Okay, so these are the fellows who are featured. And, uh, okay, so there's this new fellow. Four star, and there's a three star. And then the regular ones. Okay, so let's start with this fellow, Otis. He is a uh, fire legendary, barbarian, Abyss hunter family now joins the game. So two, three, four, five fellows get five, 10, 15, 20 defense. The monster island bonus remains the same when that quest is going on. Uh, damage over time on special, so it's the same as the Monster Hunter family, 150 damage over three turns, and it gets refreshed, which means it stacks up to a maximum 1500. This is a new one. So, Hunter's Sense. When this character casts a special, they transfer the newest cleansable status ailment from themselves to the target. If special skill cannot target an enemy, a random enemy is chosen instead. If this character has no cleansable status ailment, then they recover. So this fellow at slow speed can recover 12% health in case there is no status ailment that can be transferred. Wow, that's good. Uh, stats 813, 821 and 1421. All three, when I look at them together, are good in today's uh, you know, parlance when I look at the heroes. Dauntless Storm, Blade Storm at slow speed. Deals 370 damage to all enemies. That's heavy. All enemies get 543 bleed damage over four turns, starting low, increasing with every turn. So I guess it might start, might start if I can remember, with 100 and end up with 200 or something like that. So average is out somewhere. All enemies get minus 70 decrease for any healing received for four turns, and every turn it increases by minus 10, going up to minus 100. Wow. So yeah, I mean, he is going to be very useful for, you know, events because he's a hit all and a heavy hit all because his base stat is this. So with emblems and stats, let's look at that. That is damn high. Okay, so, and one can take the attack route. This seems like a balanced one. One can take the attack route and have that 951 go even higher, so possible. Um, so all three specials, when I look at it, basically he ends the game. <laughs> Another Khufu, who is handy in more scenarios because he hits all. So obviously he is going to be a terror in rush uh, because basically hits hard damage over time, and no healing possible for all. So once he fires, it's game over. Wow, damn good hero. Let's look at this fellow. Dark legendary, Gore Tooth or Gore Tooth, whichever way one spells. Fighters, so ability to revive, Abyss Hunter family, same family bonus, so enhances but you need two, so enhances defense, this is the same. Over here, there's a difference, 3% health recovery, in case there is nothing to transfer, because he is at a different speed. 859, 788, 1380 at very fast speed. Special Titan Tooth Blade. When I look at the three stats together, they are damn good, because high attack, and the other two are not too far from my psychological uh, numbers of 800 defense and 1400 health. When I look at that as a base stat, they're basically very much there. What does he do? Deals 430 damage to the target. The target gets minus 45 defense for two turns. And it increases by minus 15 up to 60. So there is a defense down hero at very fast speed who gives minus 60 defense down wow 
And he's not done. The target can't gain mana for two turns. This fellow becomes relevant in every part of the game because the last portion just changes the whole thing. He would be required, he, he can be taken to, you know, just shut a hero's mana gain down for two turns. If that can happen, that is fantastic. That's technically shutting the hero. And uh, he obviously, Gorathuth, with that high attack, automatically finds a place on Titans, depending on what level of play the player is at, because there are too many hero options these days. So there is a attack up, then there is a damage increase. So usually the color, you, people take Franz or Hammer Tusk over there. And then, you know, there is an elemental defense down. Automatically he finds a place on almost all Titan, not almost, actually all Titan teams, because uh, I remember taking that uh, dark uh, pussycat, I can't remember her name, and uh, she caps at minus 44 for me, defense down, this guy goes to minus 60, so automatically he, Gorathuth will be on all Titan uh, teams, and uh, he's a handy hero in many scenarios, he actually adds value to a sniper now, I remember many players saying, oh, I don't care about a sniper. Well, if you get this fellow, you will really start caring about a sniper now. <laughs> Smart SG to make, bring out these crazies and make all kinds of crazy stuff happen. All their mats are now being, must be selling like hot cakes. <sighs> okay, let's go and see who is there. Bogart, an epic, actually, let me check this guy's stats. So, 1000 has been breached. <laughs> Those stats are scary. Yeah, and he will be on those stats on show in the next few hours for sure by somebody. Okay, let's go. Bogart, yeah, so that's a epic holy hero of Paladin class, which means defense gets reinforced through the talent. This is the same, Abyss Hunter family, same. He's average speed, so his recovery, in case there is no ailment to be transferred, Cleansing, clean, cleansable ailment to be transferred. He recovers 8%, so he can potentially heal himself. 652, 673, 1319, all three are fine. 652 is on the lower side, so obviously that will get improved via the talent. Bone Club Clunk, at average speed, 305 damage to the target and nearby enemy, so a strong hit three hero. Target and nearby enemies get minus 35 defense for three turns and it increases by minus 10 each turn up to minus 55. So there is a, this makes him absolutely a top hero in the epic zone for sure. Because when I look at the stats, he could be used as a, a minus, a defense down because that's a very strong defense down against the Titans. Yeah, if I get him, I would um, take him to the Titans. I would really prepare this guy because my Titan uh, defense down is currently being done by costume uh, white, white Rabbit, yeah. So that's minus 34. This is an increase of minus 21. And with these stats, he does the job. Well, one has to invest to get him and then invest to take him up but very useful hero and damn good hero wow and he comes in handy in every part of the game uh, you know all epic play and uh, in um, and which includes even the um, events because heavy defense down and boom so i think uh, and hit 3 but I think, you know, you know shared <laughs> damage uh, on both sides of uh, Wilbur will still run the show for some time, unless 
something happens. But very useful hero in many aspects of the game, including the Titans. Wow. Nice. Basil or Basil. Depend, uh, depends on how and where you are and how you would like to pronounce. So, three star fire hero, druids, so can call in a minion. This is the same Abyss under family. Same passive, he is slow speed, so 12% in line with Otis. 460, 538, 782. So the defense is better. So he survives and uh, keeps healing himself if there's nothing to transfer. But let's look at the special. Squeak of protection at slow speed. All allies share receive damage with each other for four turns and there is a plus 35 defense for four turns and it increases by 10 each turn to a maximum of plus 65 so that's the original uh, gunar if i remember yep but there is an addition to that all allies counter attack with 70 percent of the damage received for four turns the counter attack damage increases by 10 percent each turn to a plus 100 max wow so yeah i mean he adds a twist depends on what you want and you take according to that so again seems like all heroes are useful in big chunks of the game this fellow is another option available for the events for sure and it'll be interesting to see if he is he gets used in uh, even the four star because I remember that in 4-star, with the elemental uh, defense down and the defense down options, one takes uh, um, Wilbur. So this last portion of the special, which is the counter-attack part, could make him damn useful. So that'll be interesting. Wow. And uh, when I look at this, this is good. So obviously he comes into play as an option now available. I know uh, this fellow is very, very handy. Uh, Gunnar, you know, in terms of color stacking with blues because of the elemental defense down being available in blue. So that's there, but here Basil becomes an option in three star play significantly. Good hero and uh, very useful hero because he's doing quite a bit. This last portion is really damn good for me. So that's the story of the Covenant portal this time. I don't think so there is anybody else. So these are the four heroes that are there. Good luck for getting them and congrats in case you got them. The only hero that I am keen for in this portal would be to get this. I'll be happy to get anybody. Let me clarify that. This fellow and this one. But I have a feeling that she might get featured in uh, the next uh, soul exchange because uh, some crazier ones are coming and uh, they will want to entice the player community by putting at least two um, in the next soul exchange. That's the feeling I have. He would be very useful because I'm still using a four star for my defense down. Thanks for watching. Hope uh, the hero conversation helps you and see you in the next video. Cheers.